Mark Mattel, working with Scott at the Roxy. What's it like working with Scott? Scott who? <laughs> oh, Scott Young? I don't know, it's all right. Say it seriously, if you ask me again. <laughs> Scott who? <laughs> <laughs> I'm there for like two more months, you know that. You are? Gone? Maybe. If you keep talking like that, okay. I feel unloved. All right. <laughs> Working with Scott Young. Well, uh, at first it was uh, extremely intimidating because uh, even, even when you, you know, you're doing a demonstration for his company or you're competing and he's there, you just feel like a little bit of added pressure. Like you really have to perform because he's taking some time for you. It's, the least you can do is not look like a complete ass when you're doing this stuff, uh, especially when you're wearing a shirt. So. My first shift with Scotty was actually when I first started at the Roxy, they wanted me to do a couple porting shifts. It was a porting shift. I was like, porting for Scott. No. So I gave that shift away. <laughs> Eventually when the bartending shift came along, the first one, I, I was relieved like the first 50 minutes working with Scott was so cool. We, I mean, not, like just bes besides all the flipping that was going on, like it's, not, it's, it's awesome to work with someone that can flip that well uh, and just such good flow at the bar. We were making wicked cash, still are. Uh, unlike the, the unlike some of the slower kind of they're still busy, but some of the slower nights we're still like doing wicked numbers, making fat cash, and I'm just having so much fun. Uh, it's nice to have someone there with that same intensity, or more most of the time. Usually picking me up here and there. <laughs>